Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Kraft macaroni and cheese meals. Um, it says ready in minutes. This one is First Adventures Japanese inspired. It's macaroni and cheese with beef topped with teriyaki sauce and broccoli. Um, high quality ingredients, no artificial flavors, no artificial preservatives, no artificial colors. Looks pretty basic. Macaroni and cheese and some uh, beef and uh, broccoli. It is, let me see the size, eight and a half ounces or 241 grams. And we bought these at Kroger, or we bought these at Walmart, sorry, for $2.78. Um, that's pretty cheap, I think. 310 calories for the meal. And here's the other stuff. So, um, yeah. So basically, it's just uh, uh, introducing people that haven't eaten Japanese food to uh, Japanese uh, flavors. That's what it's for. So we're going to remove the tray from the outer carton, pull back corner to vent, cook for two and a half minutes, stir pull back film or pull back film, stir each component separately, replace the film and then cook for another two minutes and then let it set for two minutes. And it does not have any other directions on here. So it's just microwave only. So let's see what it looks like. Does have a pull tab, yay. Here's the meal. It looks pretty basic. Pretty, pretty decent amount of food. I mean, not a huge amount, but pretty decent. So I'm going to get this in the microwave. I'll probably vent it right. Um, let's uh, vent it over there. Vent it right there. Get in the microwave, and I'll be back. Hey, right, so here it is out of the microwave. And I'm going to stir the broccoli up a little bit. It looks like a lot of stems, honestly. And here's the meat. Got some, a little bit of sauce in there. And here's the macaroni. Doesn't seem too sticky or um, mushy, a little mushy maybe, but anyway, we'll see. So I'll um, I'm gonna let this cool off for just a minute. I'll be back. Right, it's had time to cool off. I didn't leave it long. I'm gonna wipe this camera off. Oop. There you go. Um, I'm gonna try broccoli first. As just your basic broccoli. It's cooked. It's cooked pretty well. It's um, it's good and tender. It has just a little crispness to it. It's fine. Um, if you have kids that like broccoli, I think they'd find fine with it. I like the flavor of broccoli, so I don't have a problem with broccoli at all. I think the uh, it's cooked well. It could be seasoned a little bit more, but I don't know. If you're trying to be as plain as possible, then 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 they achieved it because it's pretty plain. Try some macaroni. This looks like I mean, it tastes like. Um, like a box macaroni and cheese, like a crab macaroni and cheese. Um, that's the flavor you get from it. Texture-wise, it's not bad. It's a little softer than what I would personally cook it, but it's not squishy and mushy like a, a ravio. I mean, a spaghetti or anything like that, which is like mush. This is uh, firmer than that. It's good. Nothing bad in it. So now for the meat, the steak. So this one has the teriyaki sauce in it. The steak itself is super, super, it's beef. Um, the beef is super, super tender. I mean like very, very tender. Like the, the best part of the roast, tender. Um, the sauce itself is good. It tastes more like a gravy than a teriyaki sauce. Um, you know, teriyaki's kind of got that sweet flavor. It's a little different than like just a brown gravy. Um, so it is, I guess, somewhat um, teriyaki style, but if you're truly introducing someone to teriyaki for the first time, I don't know if this really represents it well. And it tastes more like a beef gravy like you would get at any frozen dinner. So I think this one that kind of failed in the, the teriyaki part, um, I don't know. It's good, don't get me wrong, it's good. It's just not what I would consider teriyaki. Um, the broccoli's good, just plain. The macaroni is, is good, just plain. And the beef itself is very, very tender. The texture is really, really good. And, and the flavors are okay, it's not bad. Um, they're just kind of plain. So overall, the meal's not bad. If you want it, 310 calories, it's not bad. It's, it's higher than some meals, it's lower than a lot of other ones. So if you want something low calorie and you like these flavors, then, then you're good to go. You can try this meal and it's a low calorie meal. Um, I'm gonna give it a three out of five just because the flavors are pretty bland. 
Um, children, if you're buying us for a kid's meal, if it happens to be your first adventures with Japanese inspired meals, you're buying it for a child. Um, I think they would enjoy this. I don't know. Do you know your kids better than anybody? Would they eat broccoli? Who knows? Uh, the macaroni and cheese, they might end up be just eating the macaroni, you know, and, and not eating anything else. Um, the beef tastes like a roast, really, more than anything. Um, so, yeah. So, and, and just because it's a kid's meal doesn't mean an adult can't eat it. There's nothing wrong with eating a meal I know uh, you know it's a meal it's a meal it's 310 calories and it's got food in it what's wrong with that so anyway uh, I'll give it a three out of five hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching